We opened an antique store, but it had to be family friendly, where we could work and still have fun. Sometimes you have to climb a mountain or open some new doors to find the treasures inside. This is our life. This is our adventure. This is Curiosity Inc. So good morning. Today I'm off to another scrapyard. It's a little bit chilly outside. It's still winter, but I'm not going to let that slow me down. Um, this is a yard that I've known about since I was a kid, and um, every time I drive past I see the same cars, there's an old police car sitting there, there's some other stuff, and pretty much nothing has moved out of this yard since I was a little kid. So uh, today is the day I get to actually go through this place and see what they have. Let's go check it out. So for years I've driven past this place and uh, let me show you what the street side view is as you're driving by. I've never actually been in this yard but this is what I've always seen on the outside. Rows upon rows of old city buses, tow trucks, police cars up on roofs. Uh, There's a Volvo uh, 1800 right there on the back of the truck. So this is kind of what you see when you're driving by. I'm driving on a main road right now. And I've always thought this place looked kind of cool and kind of wanted to go in. So today's going to be the day. Um, and there, I don't know if you see it, the old RCMP station wagon. And he tells me that car got parked there when it was only two years old. So we're going to go inside this yard and have a look around. So I believe this fellow had a contract with the uh, city to clear out all their old buses, um, construction equipment and stuff like that and it's just been kind of piling up here for a while. So we're just waiting to meet up with them and uh, go through the yard. Looks like this building has not been used in a while. This looks like it was an old shop or maybe even a gas station at one time. And he's piled up all this stuff around it. And that right over there is an old, uh, looks like a cab over, like the snub nose sort of uh, cab over. But it's an old uh, gas tank delivery truck, an old tanker truck. Judging by the yellow, um, yeah, I'm not sure what stage it could have been Shell. Let's see if I can get over there. So, how long you been on this property for? Fifty years. Fifty years. Yeah. And so, did you had a contract when you started uh, your towing company? And oh, I had the towing company. Okay, yeah. And I sold to three different guys, eh? Now Yellow Cab bones it. I've been talking to Phil Strong actually about buying this. They're renting it. Eh? Oh, okay. And they're paying terrible rent up there on the Yellowhead. So that was a White Rose gas station at one point. It was White Rose, yeah. Well, it's the right kind of colors. Well, that's an old Edmonton City bus right there. Oh, is that an electric one? Okay. What's in the old uh, shop here that's fallen down? So you had army stuff too, hey? Oh, sure. I'll just wait here for you. And I'm just going to peek in what used to be a building. Jeez, I can't even get in there. Look at how this wall is bowing out. I'm a little nervous standing on this side of it. <laughs> Uh, just never know what's going to be in these old fallen down buildings. 
that's the unknown about a scrapyard is that there could be something really good just lying at the bottom of a pile. Lots of construction equipment out here too. Forklifts and old cats and all kinds of stuff. It's an old Land Rover. So he had a contract with uh, the military as well to clear some of these old vehicles. So there are occasionally just um, like Land Rovers <laughs> and stuff sitting around out here. Um, so yeah, we're gonna make our way through the yard and see what else there's to see. What year is this Land Rover here? Uh, they're 78s, I think. 78s. And so you got these all from the military? Yeah, I had about a problem with them. You sold most of them, hey? Yeah. They were good. They're diesels, eh? Oh, they're a diesel, okay. A little five speed diesel. This one here had a little wiring fire, but I got all the dash and stuff to put back in. So, but the engine was all right? Oh, yeah, it was. So that's why they got rid of it, just... Well, there's been a British Army out of Suffield. They see, like, I tore the dash out, but I got the other dash to put back in. Oh, yeah, just it's a little two-door. Eh? Oh, yeah, I bet they'll get through anything. My cousin actually is quite elderly now, but he worked in Egypt for years. Oh, did you work? They were the best things they ever had. Oh, this is one of those flexible buses with the uh, accordion kind of in the middle. There was a jag sitting up on top of the roof there. Well, I saw you have a P1800 sitting over there. Yeah, I had about five of them over here. Did you? Well, they're good little cars. They were, yeah, they were excellent. I had a guy looking for a left door, but that door seemed damaged on the left one. Here. Well, some of these are fairly new. So are you still buying stuff? No, not much anymore. Like this Chevy, what, that's probably like a 2007. I drove that in here from the city, but look at they did the Vandals. Oh, Vandals did that? Yeah. Really? The fence is no good, and then I got that motel lady. Oh. Park in there, so I got it. Uh, you got an old tractor sitting there, too. Okay. What's the old uh, tractor sitting here? No, those were grass cutters, and that was in Michigan. Older. Oh, Michigan, okay. Those were grass cutters. Uh, behind the night. Oh, it's quite the stack of cars going here. Okay. Quite the stack of cars. Everything from cabs off of old trucks. This is like potential, like you're gonna squish it or? Probably, yeah. Uh, that black thing was a ghost car, actually, undercover drug car. Look at how they got smashed. Oh, that 1994 one there? Yeah. So that was an undercover police car? Yeah, it was a drug section. Ooh, and uh, so. We swapped ends on the ice, eh? It hit a power pole. Ooh. They wrecked a lot of cars. We bought a lot of stuff. Well, I can, I can see, yeah, lots of these old city buses sitting around. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll... So how are you keeping really busy? Oh yeah, it's been steady. That's good. Yeah, we're still we're making a go of it. You know, that's uh, that's the fun thing about having your own business, right? Is uh, you get to steer it in whatever direction you want. Could you imagine the business you could have here? Oh, I'd, I'd love to have a property like this. Look at the exposure to that highway there. Look at how many people come by there. Hey? Okay? Yeah, you're, you're looking at selling the property, aren't you? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I want to get out of this year. Hopefully this is my last year. What are you asking for the property? It's 650 an acre. How many acres? 3.18. So 650,000 an acre? And are you paying city taxes here? Or? Yeah. What are you paying rent there, Alec? Or do you own that bay? I own that bay. Oh, you were smart to buy that. Yeah, I didn't want to pay rent to anybody. Good for you. How long ago did you buy that bay? Uh, a year and a half ago. Okay. 
There's an old Coca-Cola truck. Oh, I had a number of those. I sold the trucks under them, took the, the vans off. Hmm. They were diesels, uh, international. Oh, I see. You've got a, uh, there's another Volvo 1800 up there on the yeah, roof. Parts one, yeah. And you've got a two door uh, 123 Amazon. Yeah. And then yeah, a couple more Land Rovers. Little, uh, yeah, little Land Rovers. How on earth did you get the Volvos up top there? You must have a oh, cherry picker. The little, little reach that high? Yeah. You just get underneath it or? Oh yeah, I just left them under Were you out here recently? Because there's other footprints yeah, here. Yeah, I know. I've been in here. That was you, hey? Well, those uh, two-door Amazons like that are actually pretty interesting cars. Did you ever have any of those, Alex? Sure I did, yeah. I used to... So you're familiar with them? I have had uh, several. I've had a... Oh, they're great. Geez, they got an old 20s car sitting over there, too. Yeah, an old Chev, an old, old one. I, I got most all the parts. It's an old one-ton Chev. Believe it or not, the thing was drivable and come in. And the motor I had it rebuilt for the best part I had. Really? Yeah, my dad rebuilt it. He used to be a mechanic years ago. The poor Volvo sitting up top there. But, uh, Carlson building contractors have one like that, they used it in the parade, eh? Oh yeah, there she is there on top of the bus. Yeah. And what year is that? It's like a... 1918 or something. 1918, how long has it been sitting on the roof of that Four bus? There's another bus, those are oval window buses, those ones. Yeah, these are the old trolleys, eh? Yeah, I've, I've had a few of those Volvos like that. They're, they're a good car. No, I've had a... Um, I think the motor and everything was still in that one. Oh, I can see it. It looks like there's a motor in there. Yeah. Right there. Oh, but yeah, it's 68. Really Some of these probably been sitting here a while, I guess, eh? Yeah, it's uh, about a 68 or so. Uh, which one's the Mountie car? Oh yeah. Doesn't look too bad. I had a little Camino. It's got a bit of rust. Tail lights inside of it. What year is this? Probably 76 or something? Or? Yeah, it's pretty old, eh? Oh yeah, well guys fix these up. Yeah. Ranchero. Lots of ambulances and... Oh yeah. So have you thought about just bringing a crusher in to clear all the yeah, stuff I that's... Yeah, I can get a crusher in that doesn't make a mess. So the new crushers are pretty good. They don't contaminate the oil and stuff. It's kind of unusual, a little Volkswagen that diesel truck. Diesel. It was driven in here, can you imagine? And then so over the years, vandals have come and smashed all your glass yeah. out. There's a Mustang sitting there. It's an unusual little Volkswagen. And that's like a late 70s Mustang too, I think, sitting there. Rows and rows of stuff. I thought you sold the Mountie car. Oh, well, okay. I sold one along the fence. Oh, the station wagon? Yeah, I gotta get it out to the guy. Well, that one's probably gonna be easy to get to because it's okay. right by the fence. I'll lift it over the fence with a big I was driving one of these Ford trucks a couple years ago. Mine was a 79. This year? Yeah, I had one kind of like this. Not a not a quad cab like this, so not a crew cab. Oh, yeah. That was an extended cab, though. Oh, yeah, it is good. Yeah, it was a good, reliable vehicle. Mutts, I cut up a bunch of them. Remember the old mutts, the army mutts? Oh yeah. I cut up about, uh, I think about 11 of them. I it's... sold some that guys made their own running gear, uh, uh, their own uh, frame, and put the bodies, like uh, they, they could drive when I picked them up at the mail that time. And now, uh... But I had to dismantle them. They wouldn't let us take them off. Couldn't take them whole, hey? Well, they, they said they were dangerous. Now they just sold them for 60 some hundred through Crown Asset. 
There's a big old Army U.S. military crane. Oh, yeah. That come out of uh, Arizona. I didn't bring it out, but uh, Bill's well, Truck Supplies did. Looks like it's right out of the 40s. Yeah, it is. It's really old. The U.S. Um, uh, Navy it has it on it. And you got a Mercury Comet sitting there, too. Yeah. Little V. That was little V8. The girl's granddad gave it to her, and then it had a wiring fire under the hood, though. Uh oh, lots of good parts still on it. Thankfully, nobody smashed a glass on that. Yeah, I knew it was hard to get to. And that wheel right there is off of one of those big old rolling fire extinguishers, like a yeah, shot. Yeah, I had a number of those. Those are kind of neat things. Yeah. They're out of the base. They had them at the airport bases for uh, they were dry chemical type, eh? Yeah, they'd have them in uh, shops and stuff. Looks like you sold something out of there. Is it an empty spot? Yeah, I sold that old uh, Nissan that was a, a few things. <laughs> and you've even got a boat. A little open bow. Well, it's not an open bow boat. It's an inboard. Yeah, it was an old inboard. Sometimes the engines in those inboards can be pretty... Uh, oh, there was no engine. Oh, there was none in there. It had a Chev V8, I think. A little Ford tractor. We got some engines and stuff going on in here. Yeah, those were rebuilt from uh, AGT that time. So where all the cop cars came to die. That looks like it was a five liter Mustang or something sitting there. No, it was only a four. Oh, but it's a fastback. Four some. So do you have any, uh, you said you got some junk inside the building? Yeah, there's some stuff. Maybe some of the smaller things might, uh, you said you might have some old um, police lights and things like that. Yeah, I got, I had a guy from Calgary pick up some of them patrols, you know, behind the drivers. Yeah. Some of them, and he bought some lights. I had some of the red and blues. Are you interested in that? Well, you said you might have some old cherries. Like the little ones. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I'll have to get at them for you. Maybe bring some down here. Sure. Well, let's uh, head back towards the building there. And... What's that? Are you okay with I'm you? okay right now, yeah. Oh, okay. Thanks for asking, though. Do sometimes. It's kind of interesting, this uh, police van. Yeah, it was not paddy wagon. You could own your own paddy wagon. Well, you got some rigs in here, big trucks, and... Well, you're doing a good job navigating all these little paths here. I guess if you've done it for 50 years, it's probably <laughs> no big deal. What was this uh, military truck? Was that like an uh, Air Force or? Yeah, that's a, that thing pulled 175,000 pounds. Yeah, it looks like it's meant for but tugging stuff like around. Like maximum towing, 175,000 pounds. the Hercules, though. Wow. That actually looks pretty complete still. Yeah, the tranny's messing up. Well, I'm sure that could be found. Yeah, but you know, they, they got crab steering, they go sideways. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. It's on. Well, that's an interesting vehicle. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's a little Perkins diesel, eh? Like they had a good engine, that Perkins diesel. So you could turn the wheels completely sideways. Yeah, you can go sideways with it. Another one of them off the ship too, the little low one. Okay, yeah. Like that, and they would, uh, they could go sideways on the ship too, eh? So where did that one come from? Which one? The little Perkins Diesel military one back there. That came out of, the, out of an auction, but the other one I bought from the government. I saw you had an old, what looked like a cab over uh, tanker truck at the front. That was 
That's a big, uh, that's a big uh, Dodge 4x4. Okay. A big, uh, it's single wheel, not tandem. I don't want to be hauling all that weight on a single axle. Because it's got a big uh, tank on it. Well, this looks like an old army jeep, part of one sitting there. Yeah, them were the ones I cut up. So they made they you cut them up? They were called mutts. Mutts, okay. But they were neat, eh? And I got all the roll bars for them and everything. Yeah. That's too bad you had to cut them up. Uh, they made me so the government wouldn't give them to you unless you cut them up. And, yeah, back then. And then now they sold one complete. They said they rolled over to you. Oh, so uh, is that why the military got rid of them? Yeah. I mean, you must have a fair amount of uh, money worth of steel sitting around here too, if you. Yeah, there is, like, I'd be almost inclined to just call the scrapper and keep the few odd good things you could sell at auction or individually, and then just get your money out of the steel. Yeah. So it's probably. Um, you think it'd be easier to sell a property like this once it's all cleared out? Yeah, I got I got some people interested without anything on it. They, yeah, they, so they said you can what clear the land? Out. So they said if you get it all cleared, they're interested in the yeah, land? Yeah. Well, because of the exposure to the highway. Well, yeah, you're right on the major stretch. It's a nice piece of watch land. all these things on the Yeah, all the mirrors and things like that. Um, see, this works the through loads and buses. Okay, so this guy is still in active service. Oh, yeah, I just put tires on the back. They get cut up so bad in the yard. Eh? Oh, from rubbing it into the machinery oh, and stuff? Oh, yeah, they're sharp stuff. So I didn't buy any vehicles uh, or really anything today. A lot of the stuff was um, either industrial or a little bit too new. Um, and probably will need to be scrapped. There were a few interesting vehicles, the old Volvos, it would have been nice to save those. Um, but last, they're probably a little too far gone. Probably best for parts now. But the old gas station, we peeked in through the window and it is cram packed full of cool stuff. Um, so we're gonna try and get together on that again. And uh, he's gonna let me dig through that old gas station and see if we can find some cool uh, vintage oil cans or antiques in there. But um, yeah, it was full almost up to the roof inside. So um, yeah, pretty excited about that. But uh, yeah, thanks for coming along on another adventure. Uh, you never know what you're gonna find on these trips. So uh, I'm looking forward to revisiting and going back to that gas station and checking that out. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. It's just a little button on your screen there. You'll see it, it says subscribe, hit that button. Uh, you can also check us out online at curiosityedmonton.ca. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in guys and we'll see you all soon. Bye for now.